This podcast is brought to you by Elbit Systems, an international high-tech company engaged in a wide range of programs throughout the world, primarily in defense and homeland security arenas. Elbit Systems' iStar and EW division is the EW House of Israel with solutions integrated on dozens of platforms around the world, providing comprehensive, unified, and modular EW suites, ensuring platform self-protection, situational awareness, crew safety, and mission success. Hello, everyone. I want to take a few minutes to thank Elbit Systems for their support of AOC Podcast and to share more about who they are and what they do. Yoel, thanks for joining me here on From the Crow's Nest. Thank you very much, Ken. So to begin, for our listeners, can you tell us a little bit about Elbit Systems and your focus on providing warfighters an advantage in battle? Elbit Systems today delivers systems covering air, land, sea, and space. In our product portfolio, to name just a few, we're proud to include aircraft systems, avionics, helmet mount displays, battlefield management systems, aircraft upgrades, complete UAV systems, data links, specialized EO IR payloads, and obviously EW and ELINT and comment systems. Our objective, which I know was achieved through many programs, is to provide an integrated system to our end customer, uniquely configured to their requirements, not just COTS product. Elbit Systems has many subsidiary companies throughout the world today, and these companies are predominantly comprised of local personnel that are performing program management, design, engineering, delivery, as well as maintenance. Local warfighters want to speak with someone who not only speaks their language, but also understands their mindset. So I believe this is very unique in the way that Elbit Systems has positioned its global strategy. So much of our conversation in EW2 often focuses on the critical need, especially in today's battlefield environment, on self-protection capabilities for rotary wing aircraft. Uh, how is Elbit addressing this requirement across the global defense market? Since Elbit began developing EW systems over 50 years ago as Elistra, Elbit has focused its airborne EW capabilities equally on both fixed wing and rotary markets. Currently, Elbit's EW systems are installed on most of the platforms in the Israeli Air Force, including rotary rig platforms. Today, Elbit has a very unique EW system for rotary rig platforms, which we call All in Small, which includes in one single lightweight LIU, the EW controller, radar warning receiver, laser warning system, infrared missile warning system, countermeasure dispensing system, chaff and flare, as well as interfacing with Elbit's well-known DIRCAM, the directional IR countermeasure system. The major advantages of Elbit's EW system over and above the obvious ones such as minimization of size, weight, and power are what I would name the four. Number one is we are one EW company. Elbit takes complete responsibility for the EW suite, which is a major factor involved in international competitions. We present a minimum risk program to the prime contractor, and this is extremely important to ensure on-time delivery. Secondly, our systems are operationally proven. Our customers are using our systems on a regular basis, and we know that they will not deploy without ensuring that the EW system is fully functional. The EW capabilities I'm describing here, Ken, have hundreds of thousands of hours operational on board, rotary, fixed wing, military, and commercial platforms. Thirdly, modularity. We're able to deliver a complete EW suite. We've done so on many programs with all of the major OEMs. However, the all in small is able to be configured with any one of the subsystems. Recently, we were contracted by the same customer to interface with a third party missile warning system and CMDS, and to now add also our EW controller feature. Last, but also very important, the openness of our systems. A major draw card for the EW suite we offer is that not only have we invested in the airborne equipment to ensure aircrew survivability, but we've also invested in software applications and associated training to provide our customers with the ability to configure the threat libraries as per their specific threat environments. In today's battlefield, with the presence of new threats, this we believe is mandatory to ensure both aircrew survivability and mission success. So, as you mentioned, success, you know, in today's EW mission, it often rests in our ability to adapt along the seam of legacy and next generation capabilities. How are the advantages that you just mentioned a game changer for our warfighters? So the all in small product family is what I like to refer to as passive EW. With our proven pedigree in multi-platform EW systems, Elbit has also has a leading active EW system providing ECM, electronic countermeasure capability. And we call this product family the Spear family, self-protection, electronic attack and reconnaissance. The Spear product, just like the all in small was designed with modularity, as one of the key design criteria, and we have two main configurations, Microspear and Lightspear. 
Microspear is aimed at very small installations with a very specific task, whereas Lightspear can be carried on a mid-range UAV and also on a rotary ring platform, either internally or in a pod. The Lightspear is also been configured on a much larger lightning-shaped pod, and we're currently on contract to deliver that for an advanced transport aircraft. Most recently, we're seeing a trend towards delivering ECM capability on board rotary ring platforms. Many of our customers, as well as platform EOEMs, are seriously considering the current conflicts around the world, specifically in Europe, and they're realizing they may not be capable of delivering their mission objectives. Through the addition of the ECM capability, the platforms that are required to enter these threat-dense environments will be able to do just that and return the aircrew safely to their home bases. If I come back to the all in small EW suite, we're constantly investigating ways to improve functionality for our current customers. One very recent addition to the RWR functionality is to add the ability for drone detection using the exact same hardware as currently installed on their platforms. And this specific feature is also gaining traction amongst our established customer base. In short, Ken, we're persistently looking for ways to ensure that the warfighter has the most advanced EW system and capability at their fingertips which we believe is definitely a game changer. So last word, if any of our listeners want to learn more, how do they contact you? Uh, I suggest to look on the elbowsystem.com website. They can find all of the electronic warfare product sheets and uh, from there we can always be in contact directly. Thank you very much. All right, well, well, thank you y'all for joining me here on From the Crow's Nest. I greatly appreciate it. And now it's time to get back to our show.